This is certainly a controversial topic in high school sports. Can trans female athletes compete in the girls' division? A new ruling today from the State Board of Education says no. Carly Schreck has reaction. Does any member wish to change their vote at this time? A decision has been made. Seeing no changes. Mr. Chair, the motion passes. In a special okay, meeting Thursday, the Alaska Board of Education unanimously yeah, voted to pass uh, a resolution banning trans female athletes from competing in girls' division sports. I am convinced there is a physiological difference for sure. Um, I think there's some unfairness. I think the federal law at present protects women's sports. The new regulation cites competitive fairness as the reason behind the move. But the ACLU of Alaska has criticized the controversial decision since it was first passed back in March. Anytime that the state of Alaska decides to sanction discrimination, it's a bad day. In a joint statement released this afternoon, Anchorage School Board President and District Superintendent said in part, quote, regardless of today's decision, ASD will continue to provide a safe and welcoming school environment for all students. We will continue to ensure an inclusive, nurturing, and respectful school experience for our diverse community. According to ASAA's Executive Director, Billy Strickland, the ruling would create two divisions of sports, one for females assigned female at birth, the other open to all genders. So a transgender female would now be playing in the uh, non-limited division. Governor Mike Dunleavy supported the decision, thanking the board for, quote, acting to protect the opportunity for girls to participate in high school sports in a division that is safe, fair, and competitive. But advocates for trans rights calls the decision unconstitutional and claims there are no real guidelines as to how the policy will be implemented. That's unacceptable levels of vagueness when the government decides to discriminate. When the government decides to discriminate against any group of people, they must clear a really high bar for justifying that, and they haven't here. While the board's decision is final... We're going to use all of our tools to undo the harm that occurred today. The ACLU says it's not over. Carly Shrek, Alaska's News Source.